What is up guys? This is Koopa Crusher and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal version and in the last episode we caught two new team members as we can see here in TARDIS and Execute and I leveled them both up off screen to level 15 and let me tell you guys leveling up this Execute up here was super obnoxious because it only knew Barrage and Hypnosis and Reflect until level 13 where it finally learned Leech Seed and then I could finally get residual damage off on people. So without further ado, I realized I forgot to pick up something in Azalea Town, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where you can get a free charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to Azalea Town and I'm going to show you guys where you can get the charcoal and then I'll continue on up through those gates up there after I get the charcoal, so I'll see you guys then. Okay, so last time in Azalea Town for a while, I promise, and also it's nighttime now, that's actually good to know, and I know I showed you guys last time when I was buying stuff in the Mart here, you can actually get charcoal for 9,800 Poke Dollars, but if you don't want to do that, after you save the char- or <laughs> after you save the Farfetch'd and bring it back to this guy here, you can go talk to him, and then he'll realize you went to Illix Forest alone and you chased off Team Rocket. And then he gives a- oh wait, now you have to talk to this guy, his apprentice. And here we go, this is Charcoal that I made. Fire-type Pokémon will be happy to hold that. So talk to his apprentice then after that, and basically you get Charcoal. And the Charcoal, as described before, powers up Fire-type moves for any Pokémon holding it, so... I'm gonna say we're gonna go ahead and give that charcoal over here real fast to... We're gonna give it to our Growlithe, obviously. <laughs> Let's have our non-fire type hold it, that's a great idea. And then while we're at it, that Miracle Seed, now that we have a Grass type, albeit it only knows Leech Seed as a Grass type move, we're gonna go ahead and give that to Execute for future reference. Not that I anticipate giving it any, uh, you know, Grass type moves until, you know, way later on in its levels, but... For now, that's all I needed to do in Azalea Town, so now I'm going to pick back up to where we left off before, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, now that that incident is over now, now onward with your regularly scheduled Pokémon. Let's go through this gate and see what awaits us on Route 34. Okay, so first off, we're going to switch TARDIS into the front here to level up him, because as I mentioned before, both him and Execute have a slow growth rate. Let's see here. Berries grow new berries each day. Make note of which trees bear which berries. And we're gonna fight this guy. This is where I do my training. Neat kid, this is where I'm gonna do my training as well now. You are Youngster Samuel. And he's got four Pokemon, oh boy. An army of Rattata. Here we go. Tardis is gonna crush them. Also, Tardis learned Endure off screen as well. So, that's nice, too. Although, mainly in these earlier stages, it's just gonna be him horning attack- horn attacking everything to death, basically. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Spearow, oh. Well, given that it's a Spearow, I suggest we switch to Growlithe now. Cause, as we all know, we don't use TARDIS Heracross against flying types. Cough, cough. That would explain why I gave Heracross the name in the first place of TARDIS, because a funny story, we were playing Pokemon Stadium 2 a long time ago, my friend, uh, two of my friends and I, and one of them was TARDIS, and he ends up, one of my other friends ends up using the move Fly, and TARDIS had Heracross in, and obviously, you know, Fly is a very set-up move, so you can obviously tell what's gonna happen the next turn. Well. Funny enough, Tardis ends up deciding to leave his Heracross in on a fly, and he ended up taking, like, times six damage on it, and his Heracross faints right away. And we all kind of had a good laugh about that. Except Tardis, he didn't really find it funny, but we found it hilarious, and, uh, thus the meme was born. <laughs> oh man, I love telling that story, and now all two of my viewers <laughs> understand that. Oh man, that's funny. Uh, anyway, let's see here. Last Spearow is going to get taken out, hopefully with an Ember that gets powered up by our Charcoal, as well as the Stab on the Growlithe. That Charcoal is going to come in real handy for future battles. Let's see here. Beaten by a passing stranger. I could say the same, except uh, you're not a stranger. <laughs> 
Okay, let's continue on up here and fight this guy. I just got my Pokémon back from daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Ooh, the daycare. I wonder where that could possibly be. Hint, hint. <laughs> anyway, let's see here. Pokéfan Brandon. And he's got a Snubble. Uh, Snubble, you are an interesting Pokémon. Never been one of my favorites, but let's just horn attack it nonetheless. And Tardis- oh, nice. Tardis got a critical hit on that. Sick work, bro. <laughs> You're already making up for your thing. Why does it end this way? <laughs> oh, he gave me a lot of money, wow. Nice. Okay, then we're gonna go up here. And this girl right here is very important. And you'll see why after this. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. She's gonna be very important for later in the game since we do have a specific Pokémon that will really benefit from her, so after we beat her, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to her. Which I don't normally do for trainers that I beat, but for her, I'll make an exception. And no, I'm not flirting with her. <laughs> oh man. Let's see here. She's just got a team of all grass types, if I recall. So we're just gonna do our old TARDIS strategy here, who can easily crush these with some horn attacks. Okay. Nice work. They're just going down like flies. Not that Hoppip's the best Pokémon to use, but, you know. I've seen worse. Um, it's a Bulbasaur. I'm just gonna switch to Growlithe, because I want to try to balance my team out as best I can. Because, uh, this next gym leader... Uh, it's gonna be a pain to fight, probably. I hope not, but you never know. So we're just gonna do our Charcoal Ember strategy and hopefully one-hit KO the Bulb... Wow. Well... Oh no. Leech Seed. Not that it'll last long enough to get value from that, but... Anyway, we're just gonna bite the Bulbasaur that barely lived with like 1 HP, surprisingly enough. And that's Picnicker Gina defeated. Oh no, I just can't win. <laughs> Okay, and then as I mentioned before, I'll talk to her. You're too strong to be a practice partner. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. Unka S. When I'm on my walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you can have it. Want to give me your number? Ooh. I'll call you as soon. Oh no. I'll call as soon as I see or as soon as I get anything. Register Gina's number. Okay, so hopefully when she gets an item, we'll be able to pick that item up. And it'll be a very important item, trust me on that. I'm the best in my class at Pokémon. And we fight this guy right here, and he is youngster Ian. Uh, Ian's got some Mankey. Or monkeys. Uh, whatever the Smosh one was. Mankey! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, same strategy, Tardis will just take care of them with some horn attacks. And he's gonna level up to level 16, getting stronger. Okay, let's see here. And actually, fighting this battle here reminded me of something that I'm gonna do afterward. Um, uh, I wanna switch Execute in, just to get the experience in. But like I said before, I'll do some grinding off-screen for my Pokémon if I feel like they need it, which I wanna, like, level them up off-screen anyway some, because as I mentioned before, the level cap in this game is pretty strong, and my Pokémon have a really slow growth rate for the most part, so... I'm just gonna throw a Leech Seed on it and switch to Croconaw. And that'll be good for Execute. It's gonna be a good stalling Pokémon. I'm loving it for that reason as well. It's gonna combo well with another one of my teammates in the future. Okay, let's see here. Let's just throw some water on the Diglett which Gary doesn't dig those Diglett, and they're done. Nice. And we split the experience. Okay, and we defeat Youngster Ian. No, there are better trainers. Of course there are. How naive can you be, bruh? Okay, and over here we've got the daycare. Let us raise your Pokémon for you. Okay, and we talked to this old man here. He's the daycare man. Do we know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Wouldn't you like this egg? Then fine, this will be yours to keep. And he gives us an odd egg. And basically, he cares for the Pokemon before, and he found an egg, and he gives us that. And fun fact about this egg. I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen the Pokemon you can get from this egg right now.
how his eggs were new to Generation 2. And fun fact about this egg, it's also got a high rate of being shiny as well. So odds are this egg will probably be shiny, but either way, I don't plan on using whatever comes out of the egg on my team possibly. But uh, we'll find out what it's gonna ha or what it's gonna become once it hatches. Anyway, back to this. You can actually fight these officers at night, and conveniently, we're at nighttime here. Who goes there? What are you up to? They think we're burglars because it's nighttime. You can only fight officers at nighttime, and guess what their Pokemon are basically always? Yep, Growlithe. Who would have thought? A police dog, basically. And this Growlithe actually rivals our own at level 17. But luckily for us, we've got type advantage, and we're just gonna throw water at it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna make us. Oh no, half my team's weak to fire. Oh boy, well, TARDIS, hopefully you're faster. Nice work. Okay. And that does give TARDIS some extra experience, and he's not quad weak to fire, so that's always good. You're a tough little kid. <laughs> oh, officer, you're hilarious. Okay, this guy's got a Psyduck here, so let's go ahead and switch to Execute, because Execute can wall that fairly well. And let's see here. I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Wanna see? Sure, kid, show me what you got. It'll be a five-on-one Pokemon battle. <laughs> Seems fair. And there's Camper Todd's Psyduck. It's level 14, so let's see here. We're just gonna throw a Leech Seed up, and then swap into Tardis, and then at that rate, we're just gonna keep chugging along like we have been on this route. Okay, so we get Tardis in here. Because Tardis doesn't actually learn any great bug moves until way later on, like in his level 50s, I believe, so that's gonna be interesting. But until then, I'm going to teach him a bug move after this fight real fast, because he actually has a, you know, we actually have a bug move, if you recall, from the last gym leader, Bugsy. And it's Fury Cutter, which that actually is going to really help out with my strategy for this next gym. So let's see here. Did I screw up my training? Yeah, let's go with that. You screwed up your training. Okay, so let's see here. We got Fury Cutter here, which we're going to use. And this will help Tardis get a stab move. So let's see here. Tardis is trying to learn Fury Cutter. He can not learn more than four moves. And let's see here. We are going to delete a move, and we're going to delete Leer. Yeah, we're going to delete Leer. So let's see. Tardis forgot Leer, and he learned Fury Cutter. So now he's got a stab bug move. So that'll help out against some other types. We're at 34, Goldenrod City, Azalea Town, and yeah, somewhere between Ilix Forest. And we go here, and we're in Goldenrod. Goldenrod's a really big city, so that's going to be interesting. So we're going to go heal our Pokemon up here real fast. Okay, yes, you may heal my Pokemon. And let's see here. Okay, perfect. Now that our team's all healed up, let me go ahead and check who I have out in the front to make sure I ha She's already calling me! Koopa, it's Gina. Got time to chat? I picked up something nice today. I want you to- Already? Oh. Wow. Well, this girl pays off fast! Anyway! Well, that was way faster than I thought we were gonna get the item from her, so uh, let's go back down real fast before I end off the episode to pick up this item that I wanted to get her number for. So you're finally here. I think this will make you happy. Well, I guess this leaf stone explains itself why I wanted it, so... Okay, that's a leaf stone, and... I'm sure, as a lot of you classic Pokémon fans know, this leaf stone will help our execute evolve, so... Uh, oddly enough, I could actually get an Executor right now if I really wanted to, but, I mean, the thing with Stone Evolutions, which two of my team members here can evolve through Stone, the thing with that is you need to be careful because certain Pokemon can only learn certain moves when they evolve, like, so you want to evolve it at the right time, is what I'm saying, so, 
I need to look into this for future reference to figure out when exactly I would like to level up Execute, because I was not expecting to be able to evolve it right now, and anyway, I'll figure that out later, and I'll let you guys know off screen, or I mean, I'll let you guys know what I decide eventually. So, for now, that's all for Pokemon Let's Play Crystal Episode 9, and I will see you guys next time for Part 10, where we will explore more of Goldenrod City here, which is a big city. So, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.